with the unfortunate passing of the amazing baseball player Willie Mays, it got James and I thinking, who are the living goats of our time? I'm the DA. And I am James the Greek. And this is Man Cave Sports. Unfortunately, Willie Mays passed away. One of the greatest ball players of all time, one of the best center fielders of all time, one of the, the greatest people of all time. With his passing, it got James and I thinking of who are the greatest players in all the major sports. I mean, Willie Mays was an incredible baseball player and right up there with, with almost everybody in the game. But it got us thinking, like, who's the best athlete in every major sport? And so James and I were talking about it. We didn't give each other the names of who we think they are. We just started the prompt and said, you know, let's let's do a show on it. James, this is your idea. What do you got? What are you thinking here? Okay, so before we get started, it's not the greatest athletes. It's the best in their game. So yes. in baseball, for example, and that's where I'll start, it comes down to three guys for me comes down to Barry, his godson, Ken Griffey Jr., and Shohei Otani. Now, Shohei Otani? <laughs> Shohei Otani. What? I know. I know. It's too soon. But can you name another player who is as dominant a baseball player as Otani? I can't. I can't. For the couple of years that he's been dominant, at the same time, he has nothing close to the, nothing close to the longevity, nothing close to being able to can do it consistently over years and years and years. That is absolutely insane that you're even including Otani. I would say my my list is the godson, Barry Bonds. Right up there, I have to include Greg Maddox in that list for, for what he's done in his career. And then my other guy, God, I, it, it's hard. The list is small, it's, it's tight, but also Ken Griffey Jr. would be my list of three that I'm choosing from. So James, who is your greatest living baseball player? <sighs> <laughs> this is so you hard. Do it. You do it. Every, every fiber of my being wants to say Griffey because I love the guy. But I've never seen anybody do what Otani can do. So I'm going with Otani as the GOAT. I know no. I'm going to get a lot of feedback, no. a lot of hate. But bring it on because as far as I'm concerned, ain't nobody better. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to look at you right now. This is – that's – that's so disappointing. You're such an Otani. You and Ben Verlander. Why don't you guys just go marry each other and go live in your little Otani like fairyland? Barry Bonds is the goat. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. It doesn't matter. The, he was the goat before Willie passed away. I love Willie, but he was goat before then. Barry Bonds is the goat. He's the greatest baseball player of all time. He changed the game in every single way possible. I don't even think Otani's. The very best Otani can do, which he which he's been doing, is like Barry's average year. I know that there was no rule against taking steroids, but to me, I would put Griffey over Bonds because Griffey did it clean and Bonds didn't. Yeah, but still, neither Otani one of them can throw 100 miles an hour and shut out people and then hit home runs. Otani is the closest thing to the movie The Scout that I've ever seen. God, that's why it is, because you love that movie. It's such a stupid. I can't believe you're doing it. I can't believe you said it. Hey, it's my list. I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> yes. All right. You've heard it here first. James the Greek is picking uh, Shohei Otani as the greatest baseball player, uh, living baseball player. I'm taking the right answer, Barry Bonds. NBA. James, is there any conversation here? No, there's Michael Jordan and everybody else. Yes. The yeah, only, right. the only possibility is Will Chamberlain but it was a completely different game. He wouldn't be able to do what he did then in today's game. Michael Jordan transcends all of that. He can play forever in any league and he would still be the GOAT. Yes, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. There's nobody has changed the game quite like him. Steph Curry has changed, I would say is close. Maybe Dr. J back in the day with, with, you know, with, with his dunks and everything with power type of play. But Jordan at the end of the day transcends. It doesn't matter the league then, the league now. He would make it work and he's the greatest of all time. He missed two years in the middle of his prime and his numbers still match up with anybody and anything. It's definitely Jordan. I don't think there's any conversation. All right, James. Now we got we had uh, Major League Baseball. We've got the NBA, uh, Michael Jordan and Barry Bonds, National Hockey League. I know you're a huge, huge Rangers fan, huge hockey fan. 
Who do you got? This one was actually very difficult for me, and you would think that it's pretty easy. Everybody's expecting me to say Wayne Gretzky. However, I know hockey. When Wayne Gretzky started, goalies stood up most of the time. It was a lot easier to score. They had less padding. It was a bigger net. Uh, Gretzky was a small guy. The physicality wasn't there the way it is now because guys are bigger. I'm not taking anything away from Gretzky. I think he's a brilliant player. I think he's one of the greatest of all time. But I've happened to see Mario Lemieux play plenty of times. That guy played in an era when their goalies were bigger, when they played the butterfly. And what he was able to do with the back injuries, with the, uh, the Hodgkin's disease, I think if he stayed healthy, he would have broken all of Gretzky's records. So I'm actually going to say Mario Lemieux is the greatest of all time in the NHL. Mario Lemieux. So what made you think scoring somehow was easier during his era versus now? You, you think so? During Gretzky's era? Yeah. Like I said, the goalies most of the time would stand up. They wouldn't get down into that butterfly position. So you were able to slip it past them low uh, a lot more, which if you ever seen Gretzky's stick, there was no curve on it. So he would he would live shooting the puck low where these guys couldn't get down there to, uh, to get it. Lemieux, on the other hand, he played in a time, like I said, when the goalies were always down in that butterfly position, they were able to stop the low shot. Mario was just pure finesse, pure brilliance. He was a much, much more talented uh, puck handler, in my opinion. I'll give you that. There was more goals per per game during Gretzky's era than during Mar Mario Lemieux. I um, think Mario Lemieux is a great player. I think that Ovechkin's a great player. I think there's a lot of incredible uh, hockey players. I don't think it's close, though. It doesn't matter. It, that To me, it's, it's a matter of, yes, the goalies were different. The game was different. I don't think guys like Gretzky would have mattered. Same thing with anybody, any great back in the day, like a Babe Ruth, like everyone, uh, you would think easily, like these guys would just get blown away by these pitches. No, they wouldn't. You give them time, you give them like everything to grow up. And, and in this time of age, it would still have been the greatest of all time. You know, so to me, Wayne Gretzky, his numbers are just so ridiculous. It's not even fair. I don't think it's fair in any other, in any sport. I don't think there's less of a conversation of Michael Jordan versus um, anybody else than Gretzky. Like, there's no conversation to me. I, I think there's great players. I don't think anybody compares to the great one, to uh, Wayne Gretzky. Did you think of any other sports? I kind of, I did think of some other sports. I want to go by this. Like, well, we, we didn't talk about football. We have football. Football. That's true. I didn't bring up football. I for, totally forgot about football. <laughs> Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. I am a John Elway fan. I think John Elway is the GOAT. I love him. I'll, I'll, live, I'll live and die by that. At the end of the day, you can't compare. You, to seven, to some Super Bowls, the, the way he dominated the game, the way, the way he, the field general. I mean, Peyton Manning was incredible. Um, there are some running backs that are amazing, some wide receivers, a lot of defensive players that don't get enough credit for being like greatest of all time type of players that are game changing players. At the end of the day, there is no pressure in any sport like there is for a quarterback, the leader of the team, the captain of the team, and like him or hate him, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you never bet against Tom Brady. As a Jets fan, I am sad to say that I have to agree with you. He's broken my heart so many times, but unfortunately, the truth is Brady is the GOAT. The GOAT, and, and here's he is the epitome and this is sometimes how you look at how, like, with great players. And Bonds did not do this. This was not a Bonds attribute. This was a Derek Jeter attribute, which is which is the argument for Derek Jeter. This is a Michael Jordan. This is a Wayne Gretzky. And this is a Tom Brady attribute. They made players around them way better. Way better. Michael Jordan absolutely did this. Wayne Gretzky absolutely did this. Bonds did not do this. Uh, but Tom Brady made every single player that stepped on that field, put on that uniform, better by him just being there. It's funny that you mentioned that. That's actually one of the criteria that I was using for hockey. And I think that Mario Lemieux made his teammates better than Gretzky made his teammates. I think when you lead the entire world in assists and you take away assists and he still has the most goals and, you know, most points or do, do a vice versa. To me, that's like, dude, like... Come on. Did you, okay, now we'll go. Did you think of any other sports? Yeah, of course. So in tennis, it's yeah. Pete Sampras because he's Greek. Um, <laughs> in uh, acting and finding women, it's John Stamos oh God, because he's Greek. It. 
Not no. a sport. Sorry. What about Wait, soccer? Did you bring? Women did you think is it a sport? You soccer. Did you? Um, actually, that's a great conversation. Yes, it is. Hundred uh, percent. For some people, for some people it's not a sport, but it is a competition. I don't necessarily think sport, but it's a competition. I think if you think it's a sport, that's wrong. But it's a competition. Hundred percent. Soccer. I don't know. I Pele. I guess I don't know. I'm not a soccer guy. I don't. Never have been. Never will be. Ah oh, man, I've gotten into it. I, I like it. I like it a lot better. I love the World Cup. I love my team Netherlands, man. I love it. Uh, they're in the Euros right now, so let's do it. Let's go Dutch. Let's go Orange. Messi. Uh, Messi's incredible. Absolutely. You know, those. there's always a Ronaldo-Messi conversation, but really it's it's the same as, like, Jordan, LeBron James. Like, there's a, there's a GOAT, and then there's Ronaldo. What about NASCAR? Did you ever watch NASCAR? No, I don't have a pickup no. truck. I'm not attracted to my sister, uh, and I don't listen to country music. I'll take you to a NASCAR race once. That might change your mind a little bit. The energy, I really, I could care less about NASCAR, but I love going to the races. They're a lot of fun, like IndyCar races, F1 races, and stuff like that. A lot of fun. But I was just thinking outside the box and like Richard Petty or Lewis Hamilton with F1. I've got an F1 lately. That's a lot of fun to watch. And then boxing. This is something, this is interesting, or fighting. Who's your favorite fighter, or who do you think is one of the best that's still alive? Favorite fighter or favorite boxer? Two different things fighter that's why i changed it to fighter my man i don't know enough about fighting to make a definitive goat but i think george st pierre was brilliant when i got to see oh, him. oh i love it i was thinking the same thing for uh from a, like an mma standpoint like straight fighter he was so fun like a little spider all over the, the cage and stuff like he was a lot of fun but uh sugar ray leonard was an incredible incredible boxer yeah mike tyson obviously is in there but I think it was a more of a flash than anything else than actually like legit goat type of thing. Okay. Again, not you're really no well fun. versed in pardon. No, you're, you're no fun with that. <laughs> Boo to you. Boo to James on that. But anyways, for Listen, you out there. You want to know who what? the best fighter of all time is? It's easy. Yes. It's my mother. She fights me on everything. <laughs> all right. I want to know what you guys think out there. Is James mom the best fighter? Uh, or do you got uh, George St. Pierre? Uh, who do you think in the major sports? That's really the conversation here. And because she's upset that I haven't mentioned her yet, greatest of all time, stepdaughter, cutest, my belly button. I love you, belly. There you go. Let us know what you think of belly button. She is the greatest. But leave us likes, uh, leave us comments, and make sure you tell your friends about the man cave and that you should be here listening too. Thank you.